Hi, everybody. Uh, this is part two of our deeper dive into Naoyahida's watches. Uh, so in part one, we were talking about Naoyahida's Type 1C and some of the details on the dial and how it's very vintage pocket watch inspired. And now we're going to start talking about Type 2A. So the Type 2A is 50s inspired sector dial and with uh, baton markers and just a 36912. Um, still hand engraved in the markers. So let's put a loop on that to have a better look. What really sets the two apart from the one? Um, and this is something that really I didn't really understand when I just saw it in the photos. Like I had to see in the metal, is just the depth of it. It's a much more layered watch, um, partly because it has that center seconds. So on the central pinion, there's just more stuff going on. But partly because, and you know how in the previous episode I mentioned um, these dials are thick dials. They're 0.8 millimeter dials versus being 0.3, 0.4 millimeter dials. You re that middle depression adds a lot, surprisingly, to how layered and complex the dial actually looks. You know, if you look at the hour hand, for instance, it just sits so neatly into that space. Now, as we're looking at the hands, you might also have noticed how nice that shape is. Like, normally when you see this sort of stick shape for hands, right, you look at them from the front and find they look stick shaped, but you look at them from the side and they look two dimensional. They're quite flat because they usually are stamped hands, whereas, like, this has such thickness to it. You know, it's so three dimensional in comparison. And I think that is really unique. Like, I've never seen anything like that on a wristwatch myself. So I think that's a lovely touch. I think that the center seconds, which has that great shade of blue on there, um, the little detail, I don't know if you will notice, is that it's actually bent at the tip. So that was another vintage watch detail you don't really see anymore, because it's quite difficult to like bend these hands um, at the tip consistently when you're talking about big production, you know. Um, luckily we're talking about like very, very small production of now Yahida watches, so it's still possible for watchmakers to do that consistently. Um, but it allows you to kind of see where the hand and the minute track are lining up just a little bit better. So there you go, the Type 2A, kind of sector dial, more 50s inspired, really more about like those thick hands, about the layering of it all, um, and about the center seconds. Let me pull that loop off. Finally, let's get into the movement, um, because, you know, like no watch conversations really complete without talking a little bit about the movement. So Hidasan uses modified Valju 7750 movements, and for movement nerds out there, you might immediately have noticed that's a chronograph movement. Um, now, Hidasan actually takes the chronograph movements and he disassembles them and um, basically modifies them so that they can be manual wind movements. Um, the reason for that is the 7750 is the perfect size for these cases. You know, unfortunately, they're solid case back watches. Um, Hidasan is very keen on trying to maintain like solid case back vintage feel watches. But what that means is that the seconds subdial is exactly in the right place. You know, it's not too close to the central pinion. It's much more towards the outside edge. And uh, I think that really improves the look of it. You know, because if you think about like old classic watches from say the 30s or so, um, the seconds were always, always close to the edge. And then over the decades, you know, in the 50s and the 70s, as diamond, watch diamonds got a little bit bigger, you know, inched up to like 36, 37 millimeters, that center second, I mean, sorry, that subdial could never move. So it would end up somewhere here, and then the watch would just continue to grow outwards. So I really respect Hidasan for, for making that choice to try and make the size of the movement appropriate to the case. That's one. In the case of the center seconds, um, actually, Hidasan had to do a lot of extra work to make that movement capable of being a center seconds movement. If you think about it, that center seconds hands should have been the chronograph hand on a 7750, and it's only thanks to a bit of a uh, modification to the movement that it can be used as the, uh, you know, the normal ticking center seconds of this watch. Now, let's get into pricing and availability, because hopefully some people have seen this video and thought it's interesting enough to uh, find out more and possibly buy one. Um, for the Type 1C, uh, the allocation for the year, I mean the production numbers for the year, will be about 10 to 15 watches, depending on how many people want them. And price is about 17,300 US dollars. Um, we basically just convert straight from the Japanese yen price. 
In the case of the Type 2, it's a little bit more, so it's about 19,300 US dollars. Uh, and the reason why it's a little bit more expensive is because the engraving on the Type 2 actually takes longer than the engraving on the Type 1. Um, because the numerals are so thick and they're so straight, it's actually much more time consuming to be able to do it. Um, Finally, the movement actually does require a bit of extra work because you've gone from you know, subdial seconds to center seconds. Uh, if you're interested in placing an order, um, we are continuing our trunk show with Naihira in Hong Kong until Sunday. Uh, so what that means is you can come, book in an appointment, and um, I'll sit with you, I'll look at the watches which we have in store with you, and then uh, Hida-san will actually be in with us on a Zoom call and he can kind of give us his comments and you can ask him whatever you want as the, as the trunk show goes on. And uh, that's about it. So if you're interested, send us an email, leave a comment. Um, and really, like, we'd welcome any additional questions about the watches. We'd love to hear more from you. So let us know, and thanks for watching.